Hello YouTube, it's DrunkMonk74 here and I am just bringing you some gameplay uh, of Medal of Honor Warfire, uh, playing my favourite class and I'm just going to go over some real basics of how I play this class, what I do and how I try to be successful. And the first tip I'd give you is whenever, especially if you're playing sector control, my favourite uh, game mode, whenever you start sector control be aggressive in this class, you can afford to be aggressive. And there's a, there's a few reasons you can afford to be aggressive. One is, the main reason, the first main reason you saw the very first kill there is generally players that you're going to come up against are sprinting around. And as, as I said loads and loads of times in the past, you come up against a player who's sprinting, doesn't matter what class you play, if you're not sprinting, you will scope up quicker than them. And you, if, you, if you're a half decent shot, you should have the drop on them. Again, another prime example there, you know, the guy just comes sprinting around the corner, you know, I'm just walking, lumbering around, and, and because I'm trying to be this aggressive right at the start of the match, I know, you know, I know that they're not they're not scattered. They're not going to be able to flank me. That's why I can afford to lumber around at that point. You know, uh, I've got plenty of bullets. You know, this, I can't remember how many people I've killed right now. You know, I've got I've got a few. Um, I do something really stupid here. I try and get that that PDM. Uh, instead, I just set it off. Um, but yeah, I didn't have to reload. Um, I, could, I could just you know get a few kills. I can get in their faces and, and I can make a real nuisance of myself. So the main thing I'd say, one of the first things is really be aggressive when you're playing set to control. The next is your nades. Make sure you use them. That's, that's, a ni that's an easy triple kill right there. And all it was is use your nades to defend uh, the sectors. It's so so easy. You know if you see if you see a sector being burnt and uh, the enemy's burning it. And uh, you know, most of the time on these on these maps, you know, they're not huge maps for the burn area for each sector. It's relatively small. It's, it's not a huge area, so the, the, the players can only be in a certain part of um, of that sector. They can, and there's only so many areas they can be in. So if you lob your grenades, you cook them first. You you, you lob them in at, at a right place. You know, you, as you saw there, there's no skid involved. It was just a lucky triple kill. Um, and, but the main thing was forget about the number of kills. The main thing was it stopped the burn in the sector. It stopped the enemy cap in the sector. I can't tell you how many times that's got me out of trouble. Because you know, everyone knows you know, heavy gun is probably one of the slowest classes um, in the game. Uh, there's plenty of faster classes when you play sector control there are going to be plenty of players out there who will probably end up capping a lot more sectors than you. Shame, unfortunately, you know, they, they, don't, they don't have any sort of uh, stat there showing you how many times you've defended a sector. And, and if that was the case, I think, you know, I'd, I'd probably, you know, I'd, my, my score would be a lot better than the sectors I actually attack. I don't, you know, I don't often get to attack that many sectors purely because I'm not that fast around the map. Um, sometimes I do, you know, sometimes I'm really lucky and I'm up against a team who don't, who aren't really that organised. Um, I can cap a few, uh, you know, and other times I'm playing with some some of the boys and girls I normally uh, game with. You know, it's, it's, it's nice and organised and we know what we're doing and, you know, it's, it's you know, I can cap a few more, but generally speaking, I'm not going to be the one capping the most players. That, that honour goes to like players who are playing Spec Ops, Point Man, you know, even Assaulter. They, they, they'll be getting in there, they can move around the map a lot quicker, and they'll just be able to uh, you know, cap more, more sectors. It's just, it's just a deal, it's just one way to see But what you can do is use what you've got to defend your sectors and defend them relatively easily. It doesn't take much, it's not rocket science. Um, you don't even have to. You know, Take any fire. You don't have to put yourself in a line of fire. You don't have to take any shots. You just you're just doing something sensibly. That's all. Um, this is a bit of a different style. This is what happens to me midway through a game. So here we're right midway through a game. All sectors are taken. We got two. They got one. Uh, and now I really start slowing down. This is how. I attempt, this is what happens in the middle part of a round generally for me. I start slowing right down. Because, to be honest, I don't know where players are going to come from. They could come from left, right. When whenever, when the play's been going on that long, you know, players can start sneaking up, they can start flanking you. Um, and one of the beautiful things about this game is, um, if, you, if you sprint and uh, you're close enough to an enemy, you will pop up. So um, that's, that's one of those things, I just slowed down. Here's another great example of me trying to be aggressive right at the start of the game. You can see we've, um, we've taken our flag, they've, ta they've just taken theirs. Someone, I believe it was us, uh, uh, was starting to take um, centre. So I, I go up here, I try and provide a little bit of cover. But my main aim right now, my main aim is I'm, I'm waiting here just to see who's capped that sector. And uh, lo and behold, it's us. I think, OK, right, cool. We've got that sector, so I know if I can move my way down here, there's only one place they're going to be spawning, and that's, the uh, that's south. The 
right behind their flag. So now I'm going to cause a real nuisance to myself. You know, I haven't reloaded. I haven't touched the reload button at the moment. Now I've got a few kills. Um, there's, there's, there's my support chopper. Um, I will get my next score streak before I die around here. And uh, I am just, I'm just planning on causing all sorts of havoc around here right now. I just want to make it easy for my team to move up. The, the, the sheer sheer amount of bullets that I've got in my rounds I've got in my, uh, in my weapon right now I mean, you know, I don't have to reload. I can just keep trying to pick off as many players as I can on, on the enemy team. Give my team a chance to push right up if they want to and, and cause all sorts of trouble. We can pin them in. We can just keep them pinned in there. And if we really, really wanted to, we can then start taking their flag. Um, you know, it's just, just causing all sorts of trouble. But that comes from being aggressive. That was right at the start of the game. Um, you know, it didn't... And it, did not take that much effort it was it was just a case of being a little bit sensible being a little bit aware of what's going on around you um picking your moments to move in and using stuff like you know before i moved in there i used my frags just to just to see if i can get a few a few little hits a few little nicks maybe even a lucky kill um and if not then i know yeah i'm, I'm fairly relatively comfortable with the fact that um the area is clear. You know, it's, it's another great point about these mates is you can use them nicely to try and cover your flank. And this this is a great example of using it to defend the flag. So there's one set of nades. That's one gone in. Um, I get him. I get both these guys relatively quickly just because the nades have done a bit of damage. Because I was able to deal with those two fairly quick, that meant that third guy who I hadn't really seen who came charging up the back there, I could deal with him as well. Um, that's what allowed me to do that. And now I hear, or, and I see, you know, North, we're now having trouble with North, you know, even, though, even though some of my teammates are running the other way, I know we're starting to lose North, so now I know I've got to go back this way. I see a teammate go straight over. You know, this again, there's only a certain amount, of, uh, there's only a certain area you can burn that area, um, sector from. Throw some nades in there, having cooked them, and another another easy kill, and, uh, and and I've defended the sector. Here's what I mean about using the nades to try and defend one side of it. So here, I'm going to go up here. I can see, I know there's some guys there. Don't know how many, so I've thrown the nades over that side, so I can focus on this side. You know, I get again, I get a nice little triple kill, but that's you know again just luck. It's not it's not judgment. I just know there might be people there. I want to cover that flank. So anyway, they're just some of the things I do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's me. I'm done. I'm out of here. I will catch you next time. Cheers.